also. Okay? Uh, we will come in five minutes, we will come to the edge. This is the, the place that uh, is the main business that we have. Uh, the idea over here, it's agro-tourism business. People come over here in weekends to harvest corn, cherry tomato, and to play in the corn maze that we have. This is the corn maze. That if you want, you can get in after uh, in the lunch break. And also some small games for the children, like the tunnel maze, like the uh, experience uh, trail, like the drip maze we call it, or the white uh, pipes maze, the rope maze, excavating there. People have to dig and to find something in the sand, and a place to uh, prepare a planter of corn to continue growing it at home. And of course to get lost in the maze, to harvest cherry tomato and to harvest corn. Uh, now what we we gonna do, okay, you should imagine that over here in Saturdays, the whole place behind you, okay, the whole field there is full of cows. Wow. Yeah, in average, we almost come to 2,000 people in Saturday over here. Every Saturday. So, yeah, we have over here where you're standing, we have four girls that taking money from the people, <laughs> charge them for the ticket. Mm -hmm. Child, it's 50 shekel. Adult 35 and everyone get a package of cherry tomato to take home and also three cups of corn This is the deal Okay, mm. and they can stay over here how much they want. It's open from 9 till 2 Okay, now what we're gonna do we will go there to the uh, far place of the, the field because the mature uh, Corn and the tomato is there. So we I want to show to plants that they look good uh, and after that we will come uh, there to sit for the lunch break. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Yalla. <laughs> Hello, say you guys. We are here in Orivai's farm. Tordito. <laughs> If you want to do in the lunch break the maze, we have two trails, the long one and the short one. The long one is from the right, the short one is from the left. Okay. If you want. If you get lost, we will not come to find you. <laughs> Just to realize, to manage a program, like a business like this, in Saturdays, except the two students that I have, it's also uh, 17 teenagers that help me over here mm. because we are dealing with a massive uh, number of uh, people most of your employer is youth yeah because you know it's a seasonal work uh, we do not obey for them if uh, we have rain we don't open the place yes if we have a day like this it's a good day is an old uh, field that we already finished to, to have it. Hello, my Mildred. Oh, but mommy, nag-iingat naman po. <coughs> May tour po ngayon dito sa Ori Farm. And isa siyang napakalawak na um, Zayami's Farm tapos may cherry tomato.
Guys, go around. You can come over here. Fertigation? Yes, I want to show you how to do fertigation. We have place over here. Be careful, the water will come over here. You can stand over here if you like. <coughs> Jump! <coughs> there is the skin. So I'm going to demonstrate sa amin yung fertigation. Fertilizer irrigation. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait before we... Uh, I want them to understand. Okay guys, so uh, what I want to show to you over here, you can come also over here. We have a place. So if you want to be close, come over here. We have enough place. This is a classic head system that it's a simple, simple, simple. What is the meaning over here? that it's working by pressure, of course. Guys, guys, it's important. <coughs> what you can see, it's working by pressure. We get the water from there, from the hill, from the municipality. We get it over here. We get the water till over here. We have the main valve that we can close the water. If we have a problem in our irrigation system, we can close this one. This is for the water that you will drink in the lunch break, okay? Fresh water. And from here, we get a filter. Why we need a filter over here? You have any idea? Why over here we need a filter? Filter to do what? To clean what? The water. Okay, maybe they come with dirt. So we don't want the dirt will go into our system. Okay, so we stop. We have one filter over here. This is unreverse tool. Or non-reverse tool. That the idea of it is what? to prevent from the water that we have in the system to flow back. Why? What will happen if they will flow back? If we give a fertilizer? Mm. Do we want to bring the fertilizer? No. No. Okay? So this is have three controls over here that we check it every year. Every year we uh, the government will not supply us water or the municipality will not supply us water without checking this tool. Okay? If you check this tool and it's okay, they will give you a permission to consume water. If not, they will come, they will lock you the water source and that's it. They don't play with it. After that we have regulator. What is the function of the regulator? Over here we get high pressure. Okay, like six atmosphere. And the drip needs something like two atmosphere to work. So we need to reduce the pressure. How we can reduce the pressure? By using the regulator and you hear it. You see? Taking when it's feeling the pressure become too high, it stops. Okay? And now we have over here the fertigation valve. Why fertigation? Because it's connected to the fertilizer tank. And we can decide to give the fertilizer or not. If we give fertilizer, it will be called fertigation. If not, only water. And over here we have a second filter. Why we have a second filter? Because if the fertilizer comes with dirt, we don't want also that the fertilizer with the dirt will go to the... <coughs> will go to the uh, drip irrigation that we are using. Okay, very simple. And for every plot that we have over here, we have a specific valve that we open or close. Okay? We divide over here the cone to many numbers, I will explain to you after. Questions about this one? It's very simple. Simple? Yes. Hmm? No? Yes. Flowing from here, filter, non-reverse, regulator, fertilizer, valve, valve over here, another filter, and the tank. So now how, how we divide the fertilizer? We don't know the distribution, if it will go quick or fast. We can try to balance it over here with the two clocks. We want it to flow the whole time of the irrigation, but Sometimes we suspect that it's going very fast, 
So we give it in the last third of the irrigation or the last half of the irrigation. And this is what we're going to do now because I already opened one hour ago the water. So now we complete the one hour with the fertilizer. Over here, you see, you can lift it uh, over here. We got magnesium and we got calcium. And this is the date to put them. So what we're going to do is to put them over here. Okay, like this. Yeah. That is magnesium first, right? Okay. Yeah, but we have to melt it and to send it. Okay, mm. it's not enough. Just now we, we have it over here. You can put the cut it. Okay, this is magnesium. Let's put it on. Okay, now I want you to see we have two small valves over here in and out. Of course, now we need only in because we, we need to mix it. We are taking this one and we get it. You want this? You are mixing it to make sure that everything is melt. Okay, and when it will get over here, when it will get over here, we will stop, we will close the cover and we will send it, we will open this one as well and we will start to close this one that we got the pressure over here between this one and this one that means that means you want me to close it so, you are controlled uh, okay, and so when we want to send it we open the two valve, we close this one and we will get a gap between this block to this block it means that the water flow through here and go and take the fertilizer. So we're taking the fertilizer, but still some of the water will go through it. We don't want all the water to come just over here because then the fertilizer will be washed very quick and not uniform. Very, very simple system how to give fertilizer, but very efficient because you know that if you give fertilizer, it's over here. What you give to the plot, if it's not over here, it's in the plot. For those people that start with fertigation, this is the cheapest way how to do fertigation. There is no cheaper way how to do fertigation. Why over here we work with this one? Because it's matched to our protocol to go on that the uh, fertilizer is changing a lot according to the plant stage. If now we are in the last stage, we give only urea. If we are in the beginning, we give 20, 20, 20. So this is very much to the system that we are growing on. Okay, that's... Yeah. There are more uh, good way how to give fertilizer than this. It comes, it's better. What you saw in the greenhouse is better. But this one, do the work. Okay, you see it till it gets to the end. Now, we close it. Okay, we close the cover. Sir, mm -hmm. how this uh, fertigation um, supply the area? Of corn. It's not very uniform like the pump, okay? But it's still enough uniform that the corn will grow successfully. Okay. Okay, you see we have to close it. Then we will open again the two valves, the in and the out. And we start to close after we open this one and open this one. We start to close it till we will get gap between the two. Okay, over here it's good that the water go because it's a pressure over here. Okay, you see? Be careful, it's going to explode. Okay? And now you see, manually it starts to close till we will see a gap between this one to this one. The in and the out. You see how this is agro-tourism. Now what, what is work for you, you do an experience for other people. Okay, over here, the, the sign over here that the regulator will work frequently. Yeah, it's got to be good. You hear, if it was 
like uh, 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 now it will walk fluently you can check also the pipes to make sure that it's got pressure in it you open also the new and the old yeah, yeah. Okay, if you will come close after to see, you can see the difference between this clock to this clock. This one should get higher pressure than this. It means that the water goes through the tank. You see over here it's above to and over here it's around to. Very simple and efficient system to uh, give uh, fertilizer. Okay, questions? So let's go back to the corner. Sir, what type of irrigation you will uh, apply it to your yeah, pouring like drip irrigation? Okay, guys, come over here, please. Uh, the idea, the hard mission of, for me to plan this project is to expect when the people will come to take, to harvest over here, and uh, when I should sow it in the field because I, I don't want to make something wrong with the schedule. It means to grow it and then it will not be mature or it will be mature before the time that I need it. Okay, so uh, I have a schedule of date that I germinate over here the seeds. The, all the work over here is not done by hand. It's done, the beginning is done by machine, by tractor, massive tractor that come over here, cutting the corn, uh, cultivating the soil, sowing the corn. From the moment that we finish to sow the corn, everything is done by hand. It means that the drip that you should see it over here, the drip irrigation, we spread it by hand. The sprays that we have to do, we do it by hand. The spacing, we do it by hand. And all the process is done by hand, but the beginning is from, and the beginning and the end is by a tractor. Yes. Uh, the idea of corn, like I told you in the class, we need to grow it at at least in pairs. Why? Because it's a cross-pollination. This is the male flower, this is the female flower. What we eat is the female flower. Every grain that you see, this one, this one, this one, which was connect to a, a hair that you see over That's here. All. Potentially this one is connect to a grain and the pollen goes from this one to this one. If there is no wind, uh, it's too hot, uh, you, the plant is thirsty, you will get cobs that they are not full. If there is something in the pollination that interrupts, you will get a cob that it's not full of grain like this one. Okay? And of course, if you will not get a big plant that look good, you will not get also a, a good cobs because the plant is too small to support big cobs. Okay. The time, the time, guys, to grow the corn, uh, it starts from 55 days in the summer time. This is the shorter time, and it can come even to 120 days in the late uh, winter. Why? Because of the temperature. Hot temperature, it's growing fast. Cold temperature, growing slow. <laughs> so, as an agronomist, what I told you, I need to plan over here. So I have different stages of plants and this is the difficulty over here because this plot number three is finished this plot number five and now just we finished number six is working number uh, seven is uh, not ready already and number eight is still small okay and we need to do the matching what to do there what to do there and they can admit over here we run with this spray we, we do spacing over here it's like growing over here in this plot instead of one plot we grow in over here like in the climax of the season, we grow over here almost 12 different plots. And this is a hard job, believe yes, me and them. Yes. Yeah. But it, now it's become more easy. Yeah. So, 
pag sir uh, your practice is a really crapping am i right hmm? really crapping yeah really crapping yeah people come over here at saturdays and what is good they pay money for the experience like we did now with you that you watch us how we do it the same idea over here people come and watch us and watch us do themselves and pay money for it mm -hmm. okay this is the idea yeah, let's uh, have a look on the tomato. Let's get inside and look on the tomato. I wanted to give you corn, but it's sprayed. I forgot that we sprayed it, so uh, we can give you corn. If you find over here, corn, Okay, what you see over here is a cherry tomato. I told you that the experience over here, people will get three cups of corn and a box of cherry tomato that they will take home also. The idea over here, this is a new plot that we're going to start harvest from it two weeks from now. Uh, the idea over here that what you can see is one variety that it's trellis, one variety that it's not trellis. What I told you in class, this variety should have a resistance to one of the virus, but actually it's only written on the catalog and you can see over here, the catalog in Africa is not correct for Israel. Because over here you can see the virus. Yes. So if you trellis well, this one, you will see that it's almost half of the size of this one, the variety that got a resistance. Uh, we design it over here by Spanish trellising. We do not prune, we just support it from the sides. Technically, over here in this project, we have to prune that people will see. People in Israel, they are lazy, you know it already. <laughs> uh, they don't love to walk themselves. They will come to me, they will say, no fruits, we don't have what to harvest, we want our money back. So, at Saturdays, you will not believe, but we have to come to cover, uh, to remove the cover, the, the leaves, that they will see in front of their face that they have fruits. Yes. Okay, this is a mission that uh, is unique over here. Um, most of the growers do not do this, but they have to harvest themselves. Okay, uh, this crop will be giving us, we expect to give it uh, to yield uh, for two months. It means from the middle of December till the middle of February, maybe a little bit more. Uh, we have an older plot there that uh, the tomato quality there is becoming so so. Uh, but still, we, we will be managing to, to take two weeks from it. Uh, okay. okay, questions? And so far, sir. Yeah, the yellow mulch in this purpose over here is because uh, we are not in the uh, hot season, it's only for the weeds. But the weeds will not go with the tomato together. Ah, okay. Usually, in the hot season, it's also against the white light. Uh, okay, guys, uh, what we're gonna do is like this. Listen. You see this uh, plot over here? Yeah? If you find corn in this plot, you can take. This one is sprayed, not good. Okay, this one is sprayed with chemical. This one, no. Okay, this one, you can find corn and take. Okay, okay take to it. After that, come there. We are organizing for you the place to sit uh, for the lunch. Okay? Okay. okay. Emmanuel, would you care to open that for that? <laughs> Go to open for your class there. Okay, yeah, so the, picking that up. You can put two mats, just don't uh, put them on the put them on the side and tell them you can take Picking. <laughs> picking, 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 picking tayo. Picking tayo ng mais. Ang laga. <laughs> Hello. Free kicking ng mais. <laughs> Ang laga din to. Laman halos laman. Maliliit. No.
Piking na tayo ng mais. Gwapa tayo. Too old. Pero pwede. Damihan natin ang kuha. Dumayo pa tayo ng Israel para manguha ng mais. Salamat Ate Andra. <laughs> Baka tayo singilin nito pagkatapos mag-peak, ha? Eh, itatapon ko rin. <laughs> Loko. Mm, mm, Too old. Lumayo pa po tayo ng Israel para mag-pick ng mais. <laughs> Wala, libre to, Ate Andra. Oops, dami. Bye muna guys Happy picking